2024 marks five decades since Labri became a lone constituency. According to the current incumbent, Alva Baptist, Labri was part of the Viewfort constituency prior to becoming a separate electoral district in 1974 when the map was redrawn. The Labri constituency group recognized 50 stalwarts at its annual general meeting over the weekend in commemoration of the observance. So today we are proud to celebrate 50 years as an independent constituency. And so we have a very a special, you know, AGM today where we are going to honor 50 of our stalwarts just to commemorate our 50th anniversary. And they are all in the hall very excited. You know, the people of the constituency have turned out in impressive numbers this afternoon to show their appreciation for the work of the St. Lucia Labour Party. Baptist says the Labri constituency has been a SLP stronghold for the majority of the five decades. Whilst we are celebrating 50 years as a separate constituency, 30 of those 50 years were under the United Workers Party that oppressed the, 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 the people of my constituency, that undermined the development of our constituency. But we work hard as a people to build structures so that we can cushion the shock of UWP's vindictiveness and oppression. And we have survived. So today I am pleased to say that we are making progress under the St. Lucia Labour Party as usual. Every time the Labour Party comes into office, we advance the development of the constituency. And when UWP comes, they shut it down. So this time around, you know, we are on upward trajectory. We are doing some great things in the constituency as we celebrate 50 years as a separate constituency. Guest speaker, MP for Grozile, Kenson Kazuma, says Baptist was instrumental in his election campaign. When I came into this arena, one of the very first people to make the trek from Labry across to Beaufort, across the Bad Hill, to go to a community, a critical community of Moshi, to speak on behalf of me, it was Alva Romanus. <laughs> and though during the Julian Hunt era, Moshi was a community you could have counted in the back over the years in Dwindled. And with him coming in that community and speaking to the people, on that night I left, I went home and I smiled and I said, it is finished. me a moshi. His poise and confidence and the way he spoke to the people and gave the lineage of who Moshi was to the Labour Party solidified that area for me. Denry North MP Sean Edward provided testimony to what he doubts as Baptist's hard work and dedication to the well-being of residents and development of the constituency. Library is one of those constituencies that has supported the Labour Party from time immemorial and they have never broken ranks with the St. Lucia Labour Party. So um, in part I'm here to thank the, the constituents of Labri for their support to the Labour Party and also very importantly I'm here to support the Honourable Alva Baptist who, with whom I have served in the Parliament for three terms and twice in Cabinet and I can tell you he's a very committed, a very passionate member of Parliament, a very dedicated minister who has served his country and his constituency well. So today, um, even before I, I address the gathering, I can probably tell you that my message will be a very simple one and it is really to underscore Alva's journey as a very effective member of parliament and as a very effective minister in the cabinet of Dr. Kenny Anthony with, with, with whom I served between 2011 and 2016 and now I'm having a second opportunity to serve with the honourable member under the directorship of the, of the honourable Philip J. Pierre. Preliminary reports indicate that the UWP is weighing the option of fielding a well-known resident from the constituency in the 2026 election. However, the Labri MP said he is unfazed by potential UWP candidates vying for the seat and is instead focused on developing the constituency. UWP fills the candidate and I always treat people with respect. I do not know who that candidate will be. 
but for the time being, I focus on the development of my constituency. Nomination day shall come, and we shall see who the candidate is in this particular constituency. So, in the meantime, I continue to advance the development of the constituency. Our sidewalks in Oje are under construction. The Majomel Road was just completed on, on Friday. So we have a lot of good things to celebrate. The library market, which UWP stopped in 2016, is currently under construction. We are upgrading many roads in the constituency as we speak. We are preparing for some major interventions as the year of infrastructure. So the constituency can look forward to great things. So I'm going to continue to work assiduously towards taking Labry to a new phase of its development. And when the time comes to deal with any opponent, we will deal with the opponent accordingly. Alva Baptiste defeated the UWP's Francisco Jopier in the 2021 election with 64% or 2,170 of the votes cast to retain the library seat he first won in 2006. Gina Filippi, HDS News Force.